In today's video, we'll be researching, writing, and optimizing a blog post using Rank IQ and Brainwork. Rank IQ is a fairly new SEO optimizing tool. It allows you to do some pretty in-depth keyword research and helps you optimize your blog post to increase the likeliness of ranking on the first page of Google. Brainwork is an AI copywriting software that focuses on creating high quality long form content. By leveraging AI technology, you're able to write high quality blog posts in half the time using Brainwork. Individually, each one of these softwares is very powerful, but when combined together, you're able to research, write, and optimize blog posts very quickly using both Rank IQ and Brainwork. So let's go ahead and take a look at both of these tools and see how powerful they can be when used together. First, let's start with Rank IQ. Before we start writing our blog post using AI, we wanna go ahead and do some research and find a good keyword phrase that would be low competition and easy to rank for within our niche. If you're a blogger and you're looking for low competition keywords for your niche, I highly recommend checking out Rank IQ. I've been using it for a little bit and it's very impressive the type of data that you're able to get. So I'll leave a link in the description below for Rank IQ and you can go ahead and check it out and try it for yourself. And just before we continue the video, I wanna let you guys know that we'll be doing a giveaway. So we'll be giving away a free lifetime access to a different AI copywriter each month. For more details and to enter the giveaway, check out the link in the description below. There's a couple of ways in which you can find keywords in Rank IQ but I recommend going over to the keyword library. And the keyword library is a list of different niches and keywords for those niches. So they've went ahead and they've pulled all of the low competitive keywords within a niche and they've compiled a list of those keywords. So all you would have to do is find your niche in this list and you'll have a list of keywords to choose from. And there's a lot of niches that's included in here. So I'm pretty sure whatever niche that you're in, it's within this list. As you can see, there's a lot of information for arts and crafts. We have a lot of business information. We have some decor, dogs, animals, educational niches, fashion, and there's a lot of information for food as well. Health, nutrition, outdoors, parenting, finance, so on and so forth. So if you're worried that your niche may not be on here, I'm pretty sure that it's included. So let's say that we were in the blogging niche. We would just go ahead and click that niche. And as you can see, um, we have a couple of different phrases here in which we can take a look at. And the first thing that you wanna take a look at is the competition level. And this is a number between zero and 100. So higher the number, the more competitive that keyword is. Next to the competition tab is the visits. And this will show you the yearly visits. And this is very important and very different from other keyword research tools. Most tools will give you the overall volume for that keyword. And that's not always the correct representation of how many visits those websites are getting. And that volume is usually per month. But this will actually give you an estimate of how many visits you can expect for the year for that key term. So that's a really cool and very useful data that's included in Rank IQ that just makes it very different from other keyword research tools that I've used. And over to the right, you can see the time to rank. So this will tell you how long it will take you to rank for this keyword. So just go ahead and find a niche in which you would like to write in. And then let's go ahead and look at the keyword phrases. And if you're a new blog and you wanna start ranking for keywords very quickly, I would toggle the competition level. So you wanna start from the least competitive to the most competitive key term. And when you're doing your keyword research, um, you can go ahead and just select any keywords in which you're interested in, and then you can add those selected keywords to your keyword list. And once you see a keyword that you like and that you think that is relevant for your blog, you wanna go ahead and click the run report. And what that's going to do is it's going to pull some very important information about that keyword. And once the report is finished running, uh, this is the information in which you'll get back. So the first piece of information is the suggested content grade. So that will tell you how high quality your content needs to be. The second is the suggested word count. 
So this is how many words you would have to include within your blog post to rank on the first page of Google. And the last piece of information will tell you how many sources were analyzed to get back this information about this keyword. And if we scroll down some more, we'd see the content analysis. So topics Google wants you to cover. So these are all of the keywords or the topics that you need to include within your blog post. And if you scroll down some more, you'll see your title analysis. And again, these are keywords that Google likes within the titles. So when you're creating your title and your meta description, this will be very, very useful. So we can see for all of these different words, the amount of times that they're included in the keyword. So you want to take a look at this and formulate your title by using this information. And again, if we scroll down to the last section, it's going to be a competition analysis and it's going to show you the highest graded content in Google. So these pages have the most comprehensive content on the topic and will give you an idea of how to structure your post. So these are some of the top ranking blogs. You want to definitely go ahead and take a look at these to get some ideas of topics, images, questions, keywords, and more important metrics that you need to include within your blog post. And this is all included in the AI SEO report. On the right hand side, you'd find the content optimizer. So this is where you'd input the content that you wrote for that blog topic. So for this tutorial, we'll be writing the blog post using Brainwork. So after we write the content in Brainwork, we're going to go ahead and paste it in here. And once we input our content within the content optimizer, we'd get some recommendations and things that we need to do to increase the likeliness that our blog post will rank on the first page of Google. So let's go ahead and start creating our blog post using Brainwork. Once you sign up for a Brainwork account, this is what your dashboard will look like. I'll leave a link in the description below in which you can get a free trial for Brainwork. And if still available, I'll also leave a link for the lifetime deal. So let's go ahead and use the AI writing assistant to help create our blog post. So I already know the keyword in which we'll be writing about. So I'm going to paste that in and click continue. And Brainwork tells me that there is a high probability that the content generated will be good content because the AI has been trained on this topic. So that's a good sign. And let's select some suggested keywords here in which we like to write about. And you can go back over to Rank IQ to take a look at the AI SEO report. And we can see that microblading artists is one of the top um, keyword or topics. So you can even go ahead and take a look at this and then paste it in to the keyword over at Brainwork. And once you have five keywords, you want to go ahead and just click create and the AI will start setting up your blog post. One thing that I really like about Brainwork is that it's very user friendly and very intuitive. So the assistant will actually walk you through setting up your blog post. So for our title, all we need to do is hit generate and the AI will give us some titles to use. So you'd want to go ahead and read through these and see whichever one you like the best and go ahead and just paste that into your blog post. Um, so let's go ahead and start creating our outline. And again, all we have to do is follow the assistant and hit generate. And if you want some other outlines to take a look at, uh, just go ahead and click generate more and you'd get more options for outlines. So let's go ahead and read through the first outline that we got. So you want to start a microblading business, great. This guide will take you through the steps necessary to starting a microblading business. Step one, do your research. Step two, training and get certified. Business planning, marketing and advertising and building your client base. Starting a microblading business can be a great way to make money and help people look their best. Okay, so I think this one's pretty good. And they're all kind of the same. Um, so let's go ahead and choose the first outline. And before we go ahead and start creating our blog post and Brainwork, I usually come back and take a look um, to see what benchmarks I need to hit um, when creating my blog post. So for instance, I know that I need to write over 1200 words. And I also know that I need to include these keywords. So you want to keep that in mind when creating your blog post. So you want to hit that word count for sure. And you want to try to include these keywords as naturally as possible. And I also recommend before starting to write your full blog post, just going through the AI SEO report again, and I would definitely go through the highest graded content in Google um, that we got from Rank IQ. So you'd wanna go ahead and take a look into each one of these top ranking blog posts 
um, to get some ideas of what they've included in their blog post and any information that you think would be relevant um, to, for your blog post as well. So I've went through all of the top ranking blog posts in which I got from Rank IQ, and I found a topic in which we didn't get from the outline that we can include within our blog post. So it's very important that you understand that both Brainwork and Rank IQ are just tools and they will give you very, very good information, but you do have to do some manual research. And that way you're just covering all your bases because if Rank IQ or if Brainwork didn't pull any information, you would find that doing your manual research. So now that we have a really, really good outline and base for our blog post, it's time to start creating some content. And even though our intro is pretty short, I like that it's right to the point. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave it um, like that. Let's go ahead and get some content for step one. And in order to get content using Brainwork, you wanna go ahead and copy the heading and hit paragraph. And in that way, the AI will give you some content based upon that paragraph. So before you even start thinking about a microblading business, you need to do your research. There's a lot of different aspects that you need to consider. Make sure you have a clear idea of what you're getting yourself into before you start investing money or time into your venture. So that's a pretty good intro. And I find that if you want to get more content from Brainwork, just go ahead and copy the last couple um, words within the last sentence and hit paragraph again. So as we can see, it repeats that sentence right there, but if we remove that, we can actually get some new content. So then it talks about it's important to understand what it takes to be a successful microblading artist. And there are a few things that you need to do before starting your business. And it gives you some things that you should do before starting your business, which is really, really good information. What I found when using Brainwork, you don't get a lot of content. So you're not gonna get paragraphs and paragraphs of content as you would get in some other AI copywriters, but you do get very targeted content. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so I'm happy with the first paragraph in which we got there. So let's go ahead and move to step number two. And again, I'm just gonna highlight and hit paragraph. So get the right equipment and supplies. In order to start a successful microblading business, you need to get the right equipment and supplies. Here are a few things to keep in mind. Good quality machine, lots of different eyebrows, clean and open workspace. You need to invest in good marketing materials. Okay, so that's pretty good as well. Um, I like that content, very, very useful and very relevant. So let's go ahead and highlight the last couple sentence here and hit paragraph again and see if we can get some more content. Okay, so again, what it does is it just sort of repeats the first sentence when you highlight it. So just remove that and keep that in mind. But once that's done, we actually get some pretty decent content again. This will help you to reach a larger audience and generate more interest in your services. Additionally, you'll need to make sure that your equipment is up to date and well maintained in order to provide the best possible service to your clients. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the same thing for the next body paragraph. Okay, so pretty good and relevant content again that we're getting. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same process for step three to step five. So again, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight the heading, hit paragraph, and I'm gonna copy the last sentence or the last words of the sentence, and then again hit paragraph. So there we go, I've added in a conclusion and a couple other sentences just so that we hit that word count. But we've created a 1200 word blog post on a completely brand new topic in less than 10 minutes. So as you can see, when you combine a very good AI copywriter with a very good SEO optimizing tool, you can create and optimize your content very, very quickly. So I'm very impressed by both of these tools. So let's go ahead and let's finish optimizing our blog post on Rank IQ. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy my content here. So I just previewed um, the content, which is a nice cool feature that's included in Brainwork. And I'm gonna paste it 
into the content optimizer on rank IQ. And as you can see, we still have some keywords in which we need to include in our blog post to help get our grade um, higher than an F right now. So let's go ahead and take a look at these keywords and find the most natural and relevant places in which we can include them within our blog post. And as you can see, once you enter that keyword in the blog post, we get a nice green check mark here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing for as many of these keywords as possible. Just by adding in the recommended keywords um, that were given to us by Rank IQ, we were able to go from an F grade to a B plus, which is the recommended grade um, for this blog post. So all you have to do after you've created your blog post is just go ahead and include the recommended keywords in places that make sense on your blog post. So to summarize the steps of how to utilize Rank IQ and Brainwork, you first want to use the keyword library tool um, in Rank IQ to find the niche in which you're in or which you'll be writing about. Then go ahead and take a look at some of the low competitive keywords within that niche that have a decent amount of visits and would take you pretty quickly to rank if you were to write on that keyword. And Rank IQ does a really good job at vetting those keywords so you can have very high confidence um, that these keywords are very good and would be very easy for you to rank for. And once you find that keyword, go ahead and run the report. And once you do that, you'll get some suggestions of what you need to follow to rank that blog post on the top page of Google. And head over to Brainwork and use the AI Writing Assistant to paste that keyword and start building and creating your blog post. And once you have your blog post intro, you wanna head back over to Rank IQ and just take a look at what content needs to be included or what topics or keywords. And lastly, take a look at some of the top ranking blocks on the first page of Google for that keyword to find any topics or any other information that is relevant and that you should include within your blog post. And once you have a comprehensive list of all of the topics that you need for your blog post, you wanna go ahead and start getting content for your blog post by highlighting the title and hitting paragraph and if you want to extend those sentences, then just copy the last words um, of that sentence and then again hit paragraph. And just repeat the process until you're able to hit that word count and then copy your blog post and paste it into the content optimizer on Rank IQ for that keyword. And then just take a look at what keywords need to be included within your blog post and make sure to add them in and get your grade up to the recommended level or higher. And once you follow these steps, you'll have a optimized and high quality blog post that's ready to rank on Google. I hope that you enjoyed this video, but most importantly, I hope that you now know how to research, optimize, and write a blog post using Rank IQ and Brainwork. If you like this video, then give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos. Until next time, stay well.